and then I could just run git AI, and then it's going to think, summarize, add, soup to nuts, the whole thing, boom, no more git, uh, generated a commit message for adding test files. Hey, it's Matt here. What if you never had to write another git commit message? And that might sound crazy, but I'm gonna show you how to do pretty much just that, how to configure an LLM to write your git commit messages for you directly from the command line. And this will be triggered every time we run git commit. Uh, so let's talk about the tool. It was written by a really great coworker of mine uh, and it leverages something called LLM, which is a command line package for uh, querying LLMs, it's CLI. Uh, but this tool, this is just a ZSH script or a, uh, a bash script. Um, and all it really does is it gets the last three commits um, and then we're gonna prompt um, this LLM package and pass it the uh, git diff. Um, so there's a main script, there's some other stuff going on, but at a very high level, it's taking uh, a summary of what changed in your directory, thanks to git, and just passing that to the LLM package. Now you might be saying, well, sometimes I make really big changes, that's a lot of tokens. Will that all fit in the context window? It will if you use a model like Gemini Flash to exp or whatever, right? If you use one of these models that's cheap and has a long context, uh, a long, large like window for those tokens, um, you can actually get pretty good results and their commit messages, it's not like the end of the world. I think normally I put like profanity in commit messages. So like, you know, this is a, this is a big improvement. Um, but the script is great. It requires you to install something called LLM. So let's talk about what that is. Uh, LLM is a command line tool. You can install with Homebrew if you're on Mac. You can install with PIP or UV uh, for some other options. Uh, and this command line tool basically lets you just say like LLM and pass something to an LLM and you'll get a response directly from your terminal. That's pretty sweet. Um, to set this up, you basically just install this package uh, and then you have to set API keys. So you do like LLM keys set, OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, etc. You can get uh, access to all the different commands from the documentation. It's pretty straightforward or by just typing LLM dash dash help. Um, so now in practice, what does this look like? I'm going to open up my terminal. I have a little demo here. I'll clear that out. I'll show you first how I set this up. And that is in my uh, home directory. I basically want the option since I use um, oh my ZSH uh, by going into my ZSHRC here. And we'll make this like very big for y'all <laughs> at home. By going into my ZSHRC here and setting, if we just like search for LLM, uh, I exported a custom path with um, the location where I stored the script. And so then if I go into um, the location, which was dot oh my ZSH um, and custom bin, you can see I have the script here. Um, so what is that script doing? I believe I have this open as well. There's just too many files for this tutorial. I apologize in advance. We're, we're going to keep it very straightforward for y'all. Now I'm just dumping this, this script in. Uh, this is exactly what Taylor posted. Um, and you can see it's just generating a commit message. Uh, I took this one step further because like, I just wanted to change aliases on aliases. Taylor's script by default, if you just run it, it will prompt you for an additional message um, and say like, oh, you know, like add something to this LLM generated uh, string. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to take what the LLM gave me and attach it to um, the commit, right? Like I just wanted that to be the commit message. Uh, and then finally, I actually wanted to take it another step further um, and even do git add. So in my dot git config, which depends on your configuration where this file is located, but this is in my home directory, I said, oh, hey, I actually want to just like alias this command called AI. What I'm going to do is run git add dot. So add all the files and then summarize. So if I'm making changes, I know what files are changed, git add dot git uh, LLM, which is going to run the commit message and do all that stuff. In practice, if we have an LLM demo, um, we can do like git status here, Let's see what's up. We have a couple untracked files. So I could run, um, I could do two things, right? Like I could run git add dot git LLM, and then it's going to summarize those and generate the commit message. That's good to go. If I didn't want to do that, I could like touch uh, test file five or something. And then I could just run git AI. And then it's going to think, summarize, add, soup to nuts, the whole thing. Boom. No more git. Uh, generated a commit message for adding test files. So end to end, this is a demo of how you can take my coworker's really cool 
script. Uh, you should follow him on X, by the way. Amazing tweets, S tier tweets. Um, implement it on your machine and basically never write a git commit message again. Um, I think this is cool. You're probably going to see some AI slop in my commit messages, but it's better than the, uh, you know, v2 uh <laughs> at like 2 a.m or something it's better than me writing the commit messages so um i think this is a huge improvement i think this is a great example of automating stuff that we just shouldn't be doing right like there's a lot of information out there um where uh it's not creating anything net new right we're taking this manual work of just like sifting through something that we've already done and we're we're just moving information around uh, in a more efficient way that doesn't require as much processing power from our own variants because net new, it's not creating anything. And I think that's a really great use of LLMs. That's something that I continue to explore is like, how do we move information around almost kind of like a data pipeline? How do we extract, transform and load existing information to offload uh, stuff from ourselves, which we shouldn't be doing. We should be creating information. We shouldn't be moving information around. So um, without getting to... Uh, <laughs> to in the clouds for y'all this is my demo on how you can use git llm great tool give taylor a follow until next time i'm matt peace